Once again, one of the examples in which we want to encourage you to utilize our free service so that you can have updates on the latest watches and warnings in your area. Some folks don't necessarily have the alert system that are in their neighborhoods or in their town or in their rural area. We provided that free for you. So be sure you scan this QR code with your phone and it's very easy. It's not intimidating. We made it very simple. You click on that with your phone, take a picture of it and it'll take you where you need to go. And it's free. It's not a charge. It's our service to you. All right. Now that aside, let's take a look at what's happening. We have the uh, darkness of what's happening is we're getting that, that anvil type of a dark cloud that precedes the severe thunderstorms that you would typically have to watch out for. The, wa the water's a little bit on the calm side, but that's the calm before the storm as the system begins to push on through. You take a look at our severe thunderstorm watch area and you can see right now, right in this area, this is where we have that strong storm that's actually producing there. That's interesting. Let's go on in there and begin to take a look in this here real quick. Um, we're looking at this storm here that's producing right now the possibility of hail in that uh, in that particular cell near Highway 113. Yeah, and we're getting in a little bit deeper here. It's near Selbyville right now along Blueberry Road. I'm going to move this out of your way so you can see it a little bit easier here near Blueberry Road coming towards Selbyville along Highway 54. And from the way it's looking here, we're going to need to track this for you to show you where this entire squall line is beginning to push through. So this is the front edge of it right here. And we're tracking the entire squall line as it pushes on through in this direction. So as we begin to kind of begin to push it right there, there we go. So it's expected to hit the Campbell community at about 527, Shoal at 541, Baywill at uh, 550, and then Ocean Pines at 6 o'clock. That's the tracking of the entire squall line that's pushing through. And this symbol right here, let me make sure you're clear on this. This means that we're talking about a storm that's producing some, some hail, possibly more than a quarter size inch hail, but it's all part of an entire system that's prompted the latest severe thunderstorm watch in the area. We've had some warnings earlier this afternoon. Those have been allowed to expire. They pushed through the Lewis and Rehoboth area a little bit earlier this uh, afternoon and evening. Evening. Now we see scattered showers still kind of pushing through where we're seeing blind spots along Highway 1. Um, as you approach Ocean View between Ocean View and Bay View Park, this is a blind spot here. If you're going down towards Fenwick Island, we're talking about where you're not going to be to see, able to see at all as you're traveling there. Um, also over towards um, Quantico and then coming out of this part of our viewing area, we have additional storms that are going to be headed in our direction. So that's why we're going to stay under a severe thunderstorm watch until about eight o'clock. Damage has been reported, but it's been all the way up here in Houston, actually, where we have a tree that's reported down so far. But we're going to keep track of those reports as they continue to push through. This is all propagated by this uh, trough that's sliding through that's causing the concern. You see, we have temperatures in the 70s right now. But take a look at the dew point temperatures because that's the story behind the story. We have 64 where the dew point temperature in Redden, 70 in Millsboro. That's a dangerous, like high amount of moisture in the atmosphere. So that means the storms aren't going to quit at seven o'clock. In fact, another round likely near Del Mar at seven o'clock this evening and then another round possibly by midnight. So we're going to keep a watchful eye to see if that watch is going to be extended. As we go into Wednesday, though, we're looking at all kinds of sunshine and then we're concerned about the heat kicking in and another round of storms hitting us on Thursday, possibly in the afternoon. It's this area because you see these temperatures in the 90s for Thursday afternoon. That's going to click. It's going to like a light switch click and set us off into a motion where by the time we get to the Thursday at 730, this is what happens when we hit that button. Click. All these storms hit. OK, 730 on Thursday. So I need it for you to see that as well, because the heat is going to take the forefront. But I need you to be mindful of another round of storms. So Watching out for isolated storms flaring up for tonight, smothering heat for tomorrow and blaring and blazing heat and sunshine for Thursday. But remember that 730 thing. OK, don't let that catch you by surprise. In fact, have that app in your hand and it won't catch you by surprise. Here's a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling extended forecast. Listen, we're looking at minimal chances of rain here and there, but that 40% chance of rain will kick back in for Sunday. Oh, thank you. Hey, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for our live coverage of the 98th Chincoteague Pony Swim. You can watch it tomorrow morning. It will be sometime between 8 and 11 a.m. on Coast TV. The exact time will be decided closer to the swim. It all depends on slack tide when water conditions are safest for the ponies to take to the water.